now hold the opinion that Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. And I'm not going to edit this opinion. Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. Her mother is a pimp. Worse than a prostitute, Kim Kardashian is a corpse. Y'all, when I tell you, Candace Owens woke up and chose complete and utter violence. I mean violence. Y'all, we're going to watch this and y'all need to watch this entire thing because I have something else we're going to show you that's going to shock you as well. Okay. But you've got to watch this whole thing. But if you don't know the whole thing with Ray J, Kim Kardashian, Kris Jenner, and the whole sex tape and how for years, a lot of people thought it was Ray J, um, to put it out there, extorting her. That's the, the general narrative. I think that's what I even believe kind of, you know, I never got into it. But Ray J exposed receipts that it was all planned. Kris Jenner had her hand in it, um, according to him, allegedly. I'm going to put all of this as alleged, okay? Because <laughs> I don't know all the details. But from his receipts, in my opinion, his receipts look like facts. And um, I don't think he's capping. But you know what? Let's just get into what Candace Owens said last night. And we're going to dissect this. But y'all get ready. Strap it in. Like, sit down. Subscribe. Like this video. And yet we're going to get this part. About Kim Kardashian, uh, because this story just keeps getting darker. And I actually can't believe the information um, that ha has been exposed about her. Uh, if you don't know who Kim Kardashian is, bless you. Honestly, I don't know how you could pot potentially not know who she is. She is essentially um, forced upon us by the mainstream media. I feel as though every other article pertains to the Kardashian sisters. And I'm going to tell you how she arrived on the scene. If, if you already know the story, bear with me. But I'm sure many of my listeners, bless them, do not. Kim Kardashian had a boyfriend. He was at that time, he still is a rapper and an entertainer. He goes by the name of Ray J. She was dating her boyfriend, okay? And they decided to record themselves having sex. Now, this was a personal tape meant just for both of them. And eventually, this tape got leaked, right? So Kim Kardashian had a show that was coming out, and eventually this tape got leaked, and her and Ray J had split up. Every implication on the show, which tracked her finding out that this tape was going to come out, uh, indicated to the masses that her ex-boyfriend, Ray J, leaked it. And she was horrified by it. She cried for years, episode after episode, about how this could possibly be happening to her. And if you were watching the show as I was when I was younger, you were sympathetic to her. You actually thought to yourself, this is a horrible situation. I mean, she has a right to have sex with her boyfriend. And nobody would want to know that something that was personal to you was then released for, to, the, to the public, and now people are watching her. So you felt sympathetic to her, right? Well, recently, and now this is some 20 years later, I believe, 20 years later, Ray J is watching an episode of her new show, and she again reintroduces the narrative of her as a victim of this sex tape that got released. And Ray J, who is now much older and has a daughter who was able to watch this show and understand that her, her father potentially did something awful to make a little bit of money, gets very angry. And he begins going on a rant saying, that is not what happened. Actually, Kim Kardashian. Now, this is where I, I mean, what she's saying is correct, but I disagree. I think I don't think, I think Ray J's saying that for his daughter, but I think actually the main reason why he's doing this, he said, because he is, it's hurting him with his board. If you don't know, he has, I think, Raycons, his tech company, and they were trying, he had to fight for himself to stay on the board because they were saying with him having done this, you know, not just you, because, you know, modern society, if you have a sex tape, then, oh, that's no big deal. It's, it's no big deal. But if you, uh, um, if you do it behind the woman's back, if you, if it, if you, are somehow victimizing the woman with it, then it's wrong. Or at least if that's the narrative that's out there. So again, we know it's a lot of pandering that, you know, as long as it's okay to be as debaucherous as possible, um, have a sex tape out there, no judgment, no judgment. You know how it is, no judgment. Everything is no judgment. Um, but let it be against, uh, you know, somehow it hurts a female's feelings or it was, you know, uh, behind her back, whatever, which is wrong. But that is more, um, that is more damaging to you than actually people seeing you actually naked 
and having sex with somebody. That is actually considered worse now. So that was the, one of the reasons, I think the main reason that he talked about doing it. I think, I mean, I'm sure he feels that way somewhat about like his daughter's going to see this, that, and the other. But I mean, listen, you can't put the, I mean, that should have been thought about. Uh, yeah. And I decided to release a sex tape so that she would get publicity and so that it would help her become famous. Wow. That is a shocking allegation, right? This is, again, a woman who is put into our faces every single day by the mainstream media. We view her as a victim. Okay, yeah, she got fame in a weird way, but okay, who could hold that against her? And he is now claiming that she was involved. So this week, her mother, who is Kris Jenner, who you might be familiar with. She and before we go too far in this video, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Biotrust. So there's a secret diet that celebrities, CEOs, athletes, and 12.9 other Americans use. It's the keto diet, and it's considered one of the most efficient ways to reach your weight loss goals, increase energy, and enhance your mental focus. I have done the keto diet many times, and I am going to, I'm about to start another cycle of it. And it can actually be very slow to start until your body stops using carbs for energy. It helps increase the ketone levels in the body without the strict rules associated with the traditional keto diet. So results like a boost in metabolism will come sooner. Keto with King is notorious for selling out due to the high demand. And if you order today, you're gonna get 51% off. You're also gonna get free shipping and a 60 day money back guarantee. Get yours today by clicking the link below in the description box or going to ketowithking.com. All right, back to the tea. She uh, manages all of the careers of her daughters, went on to a late night talk show with James Corden, and she decided to take a public lie detector test to determine whether or not it was true that she and her daughter sat down with honchos and released the sex tapes so that her daughter could become famous. Here is the clip. Here we go. Okay. Did you help Kim release her sex tape? It's okay. No. No. True. Of course it's true. Thank you. Of course it's true. Of course it's true. Of course it's true. This is not a publicity stunt at all. This is it. I don't want you to think that Kris Jenner called up her PR agents who are so powerful and basically said, we need to get in front of this narrative that we released the tape. Don't know. Of course it's true. This is obviously a lie detector test on a late night talk show. So of course it's true. Now, with this um, lie detector test. There is some information that's been going out there. I don't have all the details, but I think I'm going to do another video just to break this down, um, do a little bit more research. But a lot of people are saying, um, allegedly this, this man who did the lie detector test that he is not qualified, that he actually, I think Ray J even talks about it. That's one of the, the things that he, he goes into and talks about how this, th this guy, um, is, is, uh, he is not, you know, this test was fake essentially and that this guy wasn't qualified, according to him. I'm gonna do some more research and give you guys the tea, but yeah, let's keep going. Except it's not. So her doing this, this obvious, almost a stand-up routine, it's a, it's a mockery, it's insults, it should insult your intelligence to believe that she actually took a lie detector test and determined the results live. So Ray J hears about this, he watches this, and he becomes infuriated. And he goes on Instagram, and decides to expose the Kardashian family for being one of the most dishonest families in media. I would actually say the most dishonest family in media. Here is Ray J taking to Instagram. We got 400,000, just like I got 400,000. We signed the contract the same day. You got the same contract I got, except guess what? You rushed me to sign the contract because your mama was rushing me to sign it. So guess what you did? You signed my deliverables in your, in your handwriting, right? Because you was rushing me. So you signed my deliverables. Kim Kardashian got her handwriting and her fingerprints all over my contract. When you look at the two, when you look at my signature and you look at her signature on my deliverables, that's sex tape, number one. Sex tape, number two. And guess what? The third sex tape or the second they've been trying to play me on, called Santa Barbara Sex. Her mama made us go shoot it for safety. She watched the mother... And said, hey, we're going to go with the first one because the first one is better. 
it gives my daughter a better look than the second one that I made y'all go do. But you watched it and made a decision. And then you get on whatever show you was on and take a lie detector test with a fraud. I mean, all I, all I can say to that is, wow. Wow. Indisputable, by the way. He's also dropped the handwriting of Kim Kardashian, the three, I'm holding it up right now, the three sex tapes that her and her mother and him decided to choose between. Her mother was so involved. Did you hear him? She was so involved in the details. She wanted to pick which sex tape to release. And then she went to her friends and she sat down with the honchos and she sold her daughter's body for fame. Ray J explains, and you can go and you can find these clips online, that this is why they did it. It was the trend. Release a sex tape and you will get some fame. Because if you don't know, at that time, I believe um, previously, like Tommy Lee and uh, Pamela Anderson had a, a sex tape leak um, uh, that made money. And then Paris Hilton had a sex tape that leaked that actually made her millions, I believe. And so this was the formula. And at the time, um, uh, it, it was alleged. I don't know if it's, if it, it was sued, if it was actually fact, but it, it is, was known that Kim Kardashian was actually working as a stylist, um, uh, for Brandy. And so she knew the family and then she got with Ray J, but it was also, they claim that Kim has stolen, uh, money, uh, over a hundred thousand dollars from, uh, Brandy or Brandy's family because the Kardashians were not in the position that they are today, but they knew the way up, the way out was to follow the formula of other people and the same thing, you know, that Paris Hilton did and they would make all this money and it will catapult them onto TV, that they will be able to get a reality show. So that is what is being alleged. That is what has been said out there. And so we can clearly see, you know, we can clearly see you know, all of us, we, we, we knew this, but we didn't know it. We didn't know Kris Jenner's complete involvement. We, we, I actually thought it was made. I didn't think it was leaked. I did think they gave it. I think I thought my personal opinion was that they sold it. Okay. Um, and, but I did not know Kris Jenner and that Kris Jenner tried to make lemon lemonade out of lemons. But no, what Ray J is saying is that not only was this planned, but uh, Chris Jenner watched these tapes and actually had them do multiple ones. And then she watched them and chose which one looked the best, which one was the best one. And I cannot imagine as a mother condoning, helping, facilitating, watching, knowing that my daughter is going to do this and thinking I'm going to capitalize. And this is how I'm going to, you know, get it out the mud. This is how we're going to be famous. And I guess it's worth it because they're billionaires now, because you know, what is it for a man to uh, gain the whole world, but to lose his soul. But let's continue because we have not gotten into the real, the smoke, the, the violence. Like this is a bloody carcass. This isn't even smoke. This is beef. It is a bloody dead carcass like she came to drag drag my mm, woo. you know i suppose it started with pamela and tommy paris hilton did something similar and kim kardashian and ray j decided that this would be a good thing to bolster her career and she went for it there are, are really no words that can adequately describe how positively disgusted i am by this story and what this signifies for the, in terms of the world that we are in today, what this really means that a mother sat down and decided to sell her daughter's body for fame and money, and she was successful, right? But there are two, two things here that we need to remember. Not only did she do it, not only should we be completely disgusted by the idea that a mother, I just had a daughter, that a mother would sit down and watch various tapes of her daughter having sex with a boyfriend out of wedlock, and then say, let's sell this tape. This is the best one. You look the best in this tape. This will make you the most famous. Not only is that disgusting, but then that her plan worked. Kim Kardashian is a billionaire today. And she's, by the way, still selling sex. I, I now hold the opinion that Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. And I'm not going to edit this opinion. Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. Her mother is a pimp, worse than a prostitute. Kim Kardashian is a corpse. She's a body without a soul. She is so emblematic of the society that we live in today. 
that we're gonna rewind it because i cannot believe she said these complete like she just let's re you i'm gonna rewind it back hold the opinion that kim kardashian is a prostitute and i'm not going to edit this opinion kim kardashian is a prostitute her mother is a pimp worse than a prostitute kim kardashian is a corpse She's a body without a soul. She is so emblematic of the society that we live in today that if you are willing to degrade yourself, if you are willing to denigrate yourself, then our society, our American society will give you more, right? How much are you willing to show us of your body? How much are you willing to give us of your daughter's body? That is the price of fame and she did it. So no, it is not an exaggeration to say uh, that Hollywood is satanic, because what could possibly be more satanic than that? What could possibly represent a more incestuous, if you will, relationship than a mother viewing her daughter's body having sex and selling it? This is where we're at. This is why we tell you not to follow the Hollywood type. This is why you should not allow your children to idolize Hollywood. This is why you should skip the Emmys and you should skip the Grammys and you should skip every other show because the people that are receiving these statues, this form of idolatry, I will do anything for this statue. I will do anything for fame. I will abort my child. I will sell my child. You tell me what I have to do. These are not the people. So I, you know, what? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> So you, as you can see, she, you know, and especially the point that she made at the end about, you know, skipping these shows. Now, I mean, who watches them anyway? Honestly, it's just a bunch of fluff. It's a bunch of padded on, padded on the back. I did such a great job at acting. You know, I'm, I'm so special. And I mean, the, the, the views on these shows have declined. It's become more and more debaucherous. They do more and more for views. They do more and more for attention. They do more and more, you know, to be seen. Look at me, Hollywood, that is essentially what it's become. And what she's saying is, listen, whatever I have to do, even to sacrifice my child, even to sacrifice, it does not, it does not matter what it takes. I will do it for, for money. I will do it for fame. I will do it for clout. I would do it to feel, you know, important, to feel good To I will, I will build my brand on the backs of, you know, of, my daughter laying on her back. Essentially, this is what Candace Owens is saying. And a lot of people have felt this sentiment um, and they are disgusted by many things that the Kardashians do. I don't ever get into their stuff. It, you know, I, I don't watch the show. I, it's just not my my thing to get into culture wars like that. I focus, try to focus more on relationships, but this is, this is part of the issue. Every time I go on Instagram, every time I go on anything, all these celebrities, you know, the complete body is out, complete butt out. And I'm just thinking, how did this become normal? How did any of this become normal? But we are going to continue to slip and slide and, and, and decay morally, ethically, um, all for in the name of fame and a dollar and the root of all the love of money is the root of all evil not money but the love of it and people will do anything to get that dollar in their hand and it doesn't matter you know who they have to sacrifice i'm gonna play a quick clip just from this channel as i guys i told you that um there were some black women because you know candace owens is uh politically right a lot of black people who said they don't like her but what i'm finding more and more is that a lot of black people and black women in particular will uh, respect her and respect her mind. And the work that she did exposing um, BLM, um, I think uh, she has something coming out, I'm not sure, uh, but she did some work exposing that. And I saw a lot of black people speaking positively about the work she was doing with that. And then now with this, I wanna, I wanna play this clip and then we're gonna read a couple comments because this is a, a, you know, a mostly black female channel and what they have to say about it. Oh, once closed, and then look again. I don't agree with Candace Owens and her political views at all, but low key, Candace is a little baggy. She honestly is gorgeous face, gorgeous body, <laughs> even when she's looking like a lollipop gorgeous face and gorgeous body, but her mind, her mind, her mind was something else. 
because I remember they went to war. So anyway, y'all, I just wanted to share that little gossip with you because when I heard the Candace Owens was dragging Kim Kardashian and I heard what she was like, I'm just going to say it. She as outright a prostitute. I said, you better go ahead and get your kicks in. All right, guys. So you heard what she had to say. She had other things um, to say about Candace where she, <laughs> she was like giving Candace essentially her props. And then there's another channel, but let's read the comments. Let's see what other women have to say about this and their take on Candace Owens uh, calling Kim Kardashian a prostitute and Kris Jenner a pimp. And these are black women. So keep that in mind as we read these. So it says, Candace, we already knew Kim was and still is a lady of the night. I agree with everything Candace said. Kudos to her for saying it on a public platform and standing on what she said. Candace is right. I mean, the Kardashians failed themselves in many ways, many times. I understand sex sells, but come on, people. But come on, people will never forget how you first introduced yourself to the world. It doesn't matter how powerful and famous you become. You were able to sell yourself for that fame and wealth and do it over and over again and jump from relationship to another relationship like it's just a normal day-to-day -day thing and feel no way. That's, uh, let me see, that's not okay to play yourself like that. How can a person who acts like they can care about others, she throws herself with no hesitation, no wonder how she could betray and sell out Ray J, Black China, Jordan Woods, and others, no wonder. I don't like Candace. You guys see this? I don't like Candace, but she is correct about Kim and Chris. Yes, Candace Owen really said it best. I think she's totally 100 on point. She could have said she couldn't have said it better than anything I've heard thus far. Bravo for Candace. Um, I don't think that's a black one, but it doesn't matter. We're just getting women's thing, but there's a lot of black women. <laughs> trust me, I watch the channel sometimes just to get tea, and, and trust me, it is. Um, uh, I believe the more people come out and speak out against them, more people are going to come forward. I like Candace Owens. You don't have to agree with everything she believes in, but you can't deny her logic and reasoning on lots of subjects, including this one. I agree with this as well. I actually agree with her on um, some things. I disagree with her on others. On this, you know, her her sentiments in terms of, of, of her feelings on, on, on what has happened. I don't know if, I, <laughs> but when she didn't went straight, but she's a prostitute, like Candace, girl. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so happy the truth is out and we're witnessing the beginning of the end for that evil family. Candace is absolutely right. She is just saying what everyone else is thinking. I hope this is the beginning of the end for Kim and the family. So tired of them being young, a young woman's role, role models. Uh, whether people like Candace or not, her voice is respected. And actually, I'm going to move this over to you guys. I don't know if you guys can see this. You can see the people on here. Hopefully you can. Um, uh, uh, whether people, here we go. Whether people like Candace or not, her voice is respected and this can pose a, a really a problem for Kim K's plan because Candace hold the conservatives in her pocket and this could block further investment that Kim may have with her venture capitalist plan. Girl, Candace is a significant roadblock. And another woman, uh, this one says protect black women, DOS. That's the name of their, their thing. They say, I saw no lies for once. I agree with Candace a hundred percent. My heart with those poor Kardashian children, dear Lord, bless them. I never agree with everything Can uh, Candy Kane says, but I do respect her intelligence and unapologetic, unapologetic stance. Love anyone who lets you know exactly where they're, where they're coming from. No guessing. I ho I, however, agree with her on this. I love Candace. She's not PC and she speaks her mind. LOL. Kim is getting destroyed by everyone. I mean, like, I mean, like you read on and on and on all of the comments, you know, are in agreement. And I've seen other things on posts on social media that they do. A, a lot of people agree with Candace Owens. So you guys let me know, did Candace come with the I mean, with the holy smoke is what I call it. I think she did. Um, she's not playing any games. And actually, I think I'm going to do a part two because there's actually some more tea to this. She's actually, I think, uh, believe it or not, linked up with Ray J. Um, I think you have to go into like her app or her whatever to get the video. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. I'm going to be breaking this down some more. But uh, 100%, um, this is, this is, 
I am so glad that we are seeing um, the truth starting to come out. We'll never know the full truth of everything, of every scenario and every situation. But they even played, the way this was played, I mean, they really lied at every turn about this. And even that that on Hulu, where uh, Kanye uh, went to go get the the copy of it, they just wanted to take Ray J's copies of it. Ray J wasn't trying to sell it. That's just what he was saying. He wasn't trying to do anything. They just kept, for 20 years, they had blamed this man. And they wanted to, you know, and I think Kim regrets that she did that now that she's trying to, you know, she has this venture capital thing. She's trying to move in a different direction. She wants to be seen as a, cer a, a certain light. So she never wants those other ones to come out. So she said, you know what, I, we need to destroy, we need to take, get those back allegedly from him. It's not even alleged. I mean, Kanye, I mean, Ray J talks about it, but again, that's for another video. Guys, uh, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and also go to the link in the um, description box, Keto with King. Dot com and uh, go ahead and get your your keto powder today, Lord, Lord Jesus, I, um, mm -mm. and I will see you guys on the next one.